today I'm going to talk about the most commonly used drug for fever and as a pain reliever, the acetyl salicylic acid or aspirin. For short, ASA. Asa, parang ikaw. Asa, asa sa kanya. <laughs> Joke. Now let's go to the information. So, aspirin is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, um, meaning it is a not steroid but often similar to the effects of a steroid. It is also a platelet aggregation inhibitor. The mechanism of action of aspirin is this. Aspirin is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug um, with the, the effect of analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and antipyretic. It inhibits the cyclooxygenase, which is responsible for the synthesis of prostaglandin and thromboxane. Um, it also inhibits um, platelet aggregation. Now, um, let's go to the uses. There are a lot of uses of aspirin, including um, it reduces fever or inflammation and it is used for the treatment of pain or it treats pain. Para sa mga nasaktan. Chara. So, also, it reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases like myocardial infarction or heart attack and uh, stroke. It also prevents... Um, clot formation, and it is used for the treatment of CAD or coronary artery disease. Now, let's go to the contraindication. Aspirin is not recommended for patients with hemophilia and other bleeding disorders. It is also not recommended for um, patients who are hypersensitive to salicylates and enzymes. It is also not recommended for um, patients who are um, allergic to enzymes and aspirin and also for the patients who are 16 years old and below. Now, let's go to the side effects and adverse drug reaction. The most common side effects of aspirin are indigestion or dyspepsia, nausea, and the irritation of the stomach. Aspirin may cause tinnitus, dyspepsia, heartburn, and the bleeding of the GI tract. So there guys, that's all the basic information that you should know about aspirin. Thank you for watching! Bye!